for Dipset versus G Unit. Which would make sense. Let's hypothesize in the event that that happened, who do you have winning? Oh, beating them. So you have the locks as the ultimate One New of, York a, a, group yeah, in a versus. Probably so, yes. In a versus. Probably so. Dipset, they have records Dipset, from Dipset everything. is tough. Dipset is tough. Does and the that's, locks that's be Wu-Tang? Let yes. me pull your back. Yeah. Back if we didn't just speak to okay. Jimmy last week, I would call him and ask him what he thought and about I'm, some of these. I'm a Wu-Tang what he thinks about hey. Dipset versus the locks? Yeah. Come on, man. You know what, you know what Jim is going to say. He's going to ride for his team, of course, but he'll also give us at least an honest reason as to why he feels that way. I don't think that he'll just he'll just say, oh, Dipset, you know about Yeah, I don't think he would do that. I think it just comes down to impact. Jim would be Dipset, more honest Dipset, than, than Cam would, I think. I think Dipset just has more of an impact. And more than who? To the locks? Yeah. Absolutely. I think more people Yo. know Dipset Why than you the locks. That, man? Yep. What's good? It's Rory from the Joe Budden Podcast. Back to back episodes live on the air, Jim. Oh, oh. Hey, <laughs> my brother, Rory. We, ju- we just got off the phone with Swiss and we're just making up versus shit. Just making up shit. Swiss didn't say nothing. But Dipset versus G Unit came up and Dipset versus the locks came up. And I need your opinion. Um, well, historically, people would love to see Dipset versus G Unit, right? Yeah. But I doubt that it happened. Of course, no, com- no camaraderie there. Um, and what are we gonna listen to Twenty Fifty Cent records, pretty much. But let me stop taking jabs. Um, <laughs> Dipset in the locks. A lot of camaraderie, a lot of free energy, a lot of energy to back off or to bounce off each other. Cam and Jada Kiss and Styles P literally started the same year to get into this game off of freestyles and things like that. Um, we represent the uptown part of New York City. Um, we represent the culture for New York City. We, uh, mm-hmm. We've been pillars in this industry both for the past 20 some odd years, along with the whole Rough Rider uh, enterprise. So, you know what I mean? I think that will be more suitable and, and, and more suitable for us also. But if there were a chance for the G unit thing to happen, I wouldn't exactly count it out. I just probably would say it would be a bit more aggressive than even the Jeezy and uh and Goo uh verses. <laughs> which yeah, I'm we, all for. We, don't, we don't want any of that. Hypothetically <laughs> like speaking, that. just music like- Jim. That's all. Nah, I want to wrestle and fight and shit yeah, like no. that. <laughs> Jim. That's not what I was trying to get with this call, Jim. Yeah, Jim, yeah. Read that. Uh, yeah, that's the energy I like. Yeah. All right. Hey, I'm Jim, with it. listen to this. Listen to this. Mm-hmm. In, in the event that it were the locks versus Dipset, we just throwing out songs. What wins in Dipset Anthem versus We Gonna Make It? Just that one round. Oh man! A lot of us in here have Dipset Anthem is one of the greatest New York records ever made. I would say this: that our strategy would be five Joel's record, five Killer records, five Jim Jones record, five Diplomat records. That's like twenty platinum records. That's tough. Does that make sense for us? Mm. Oh, yeah. Now, yeah. I, I don't think that's a bad strategy. Yeah. Have a group of individuals that can break down into that type of shit doesn't even matter. Like you could go Migos, but Migos can't break down into solos. They don't. They haven't accomplished that yet. And when they do, they're going to be hella tough to to reckon with. But mm-hmm. we got some shit that we've done that a lot of people haven't done. And yes, locks are solo artists, and they do have some hella fire hits. I could sit down and ring off a bunch of them, but mm-hmm. we have bona fide platinum hits. It's a little different. You did I get it. You know that the locks are one of the greatest groups ever, but one of their so greatest fair. feats has been they have had a hard time on the, the bad boy constituents of going platinum through all those years. That was their biggest fight. And their biggest fight had turned them platinum with the people because they deserved it. Us, we've been kind of blessed throughout our career with having angels around us. And Cam has been a platinum artist since he's touched the game since 1997. And from then on, he's bring us into the game and, even Jim Jones has ended up with platinum records, which I'm, um, I'm almost flabbergasted that I, that I'm in the game still and still have these records that we have. Like we got some bona fide Michael Jackson hits, is what I like to call them. So you know, it'll be a battle to the death 
to the death. That's a great battle. Yeah. Either, either way, I would love to just see Dipset in the verses. No, ma- no matter the opponent, I think that needs to happen. <laughs> we need it for New York. That's that's just the bottom line. We need I would it. Def- so when you get def- the call, oblige, I mean, please. <laughs> I'm with it. Whatever, whoever you want to line up, we're not backing down from any ec- any action at all. You dig? Above all, it's just not that serious. So whoever they want to put up in a room with us, we definitely ready to put our best foot forward and our artistry forward. So don't give a fuck who it might be. You heard? Put them in the box. Let's see who can box. You heard? <laughs> <laughs> at the end of the day, it's about your lineup. It ain't about your catalog. It ain't about how much money you got. It's about the vibe and the feeling you're going to be able to give those people that's watching. And if your lineup ain't right, you might just lose and you could be one of the biggest platinum artists there is. You know, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to say? Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, it's true. Jim, real quick before I let you go, what are the rappers going to do now that Jake Paul is on the loose, man? We're going to jump that nigga. I know Jay Paul. I ain't going to box him. better get that shit in the ring because these niggas going to scrape him up. You heard? <laughs> you heard? The fuck he talking about? He better cut the whole pants. Fuck yeah. Jake ass up, jump the shit out of his stomp him out. Jim. Wait for his arm, all type of shit. Right. We got yeah, I'm a grown it. rapper. Fuck you talking about? Uh, play them fuck you talk about? I don't play basketball. I'm not jumping in some shit that I have no no business jumping in. But I tell you one thing, he better not jump in no shit. He got no business jumping in. Don't, <laughs> don't, be, fooled, don't be fooled by these rappers because that boxing ain't going to count when you get in this box. You heard, nigga? <laughs> All right, Jim. Thank you. New album coming in a few but weeks. I like, I like, I like him though. I like him. I like, I, I like him. I can't take nothing uh, oh, away man. from him. I think that Nate should have did a little bit more research. Like, you know, I didn't even know what he was about until after the fight. And niggas was like, bro, that nigga been by. He's a boxer. He boxes. Like, he's not no YouTube sensation. Like, he's 52 <laughs> faking niggas out. Like, he really boxes. He might be on steroids. The nigga know how to combo. His brother's a fucking boxer that beat niggas up. I so beat both the niggas up. He's not a YouTube <laughs> nigga out. And for that alone, he need to get jumped. Uh, Fuck wrong <laughs> <laughs> for that alone. <laughs> he definitely did some billion shit. Like, no, I don't know how to play pool. <laughs> Take all your money. Fuck. <laughs> so, well, shout out to Jake, man. Shout out to Nate, Nate. You know, I'm smoking on some Nate right now. You heard? I'm smoking on Nate. <laughs> Jim, thank you. We love you, man. New album in a couple weeks. You already know what it is, man. All right, man. Appreciate you. Boys. Nice. Yeah, we need we need a dip set. <laughs> Appearance Wait, hold up, man. Jim, yeah, Jimmy yeah, we might need, just yeah. need to come up and kick it for an episode. Nigga, Jim said, "Fuck, is you talk about? We're not talking about anything." <laughs>